Hi, yeah. Uh, I've been seeing videos on YouTube about people's zombie plans, and I figured I'd share mine. You'll have to excuse me, I have a little bit of a heckle. Anyway, um, my zombie plan uh, basically is hold up somewhere for a little while. Not like permanent, because when you hold up permanent, you gotta worry about food and ammunition. Hold up somewhere for a little while, then get the hell out of town. More specifically, uh, in case of a zombie attack, I would move during the day, um, because at least then you'd be able to see what's coming. Even if zombies don't like the daylight, or if they do, it doesn't really matter, because you have a better line of sight in the day. Uh, and I would go and I'd get in my car, because in zombie movies, everybody apparently seems to think it's better to go on foot. It's not. You can lock yourself in a car. So I would get in my car, and I would probably drive to the Walmart. Now, I live in Jacksonville currently. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida, but uh, we have a Super Walmart, and I know that there are Super Walmarts, like, all, all over the place in America, and they're a fantastic resource, because literally anything that you can think of to kill a zombie or to use as a weapon, they either have or have materials that you can make it out of. Seriously. I mean, they've got guns, they've got ammunition, crossbows, machetes, hatchets, ratchets, Wrenches, screwdrivers, basically every weapon on the man. Plus, it's a nice big building so that you could land a helicopter on it if you needed to. Uh, you could make a stockpile up on the roof out of the camping supplies that they have in there. And I don't know about the other Walmarts, but uh, the ones in Florida, anyway, have uh, hurricane shutters that you can close and lock, which will keep the zombies out. Now, I know that zombies are usually gifted for being particularly strong or smart. Uh, but I think that if there were a lot of them, they could probably break through uh, like the sliding doors at the Walmart. So I probably would barricade those with lines of carts. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, carts are on wheels. It, it won't stop zombies at all. Wrong. If you push a cart with the wheels forward and backwards, and also like at an angle, then they move pretty easily. However, if you try to push it sideways, it doesn't move very well at all, even with just one cart. And when you put them in one of those long lines, of like 50, and then you like backwards and forwards them, and you have like four lines of those, it's basically like cement. You're never going to get through that. They're just too heavy. So that's what I would do. Um, and that also gives you a nice buffer zone between you and the zombies. While you're at the Walmart, you can think of a better plan. My basic plan after that, the Walmart is set up uh, on the roof and uh, have a camping site up there with a helipad in case of a rescue. Also, I would use one of the trucks, which are always by the Walmart. I mean, there are always trucks by Walmart. Um, hijack one of those, put as much supplies in the back as you can, um, and eventually just ram your way out and drive uh, as far as you possibly can. And um, the Walmart that's in my area, we're actually lucky because there's a gas station like right next to it. So if you can make it to the gas station, you can get a shit ton of gas because there is like all kinds of gas cans and everything in the Walmart anyway. So you just fill up on that, fill up on food and ammunition, and then just pack it on the truck and drive. And I would drive out probably to the backwoods uh, if I was in, at my normal home in Connecticut. Uh, I would drive out to the backwoods of, like, Canada because, you know, there's nothing out there. There's just miles and miles of miles and miles. Or being as I'm not there now, like, uh, in Florida, my basic plan would be get to the coast and steal a boat and see about sailing it. Uh, it'd have to be a sailboat because there may not be, you know, enough gas. Uh, see about sailing it to an uninhabited island and then just stay there. The beauty of a zombie attack is that zombies are already dead. So they're going to start to decay. You only have to avoid them until they're so decayed that they can't come after you anymore. Then it'll be over. 
So, like, five years maximum, and all the zombies will be gone. If you can survive that, then you'll survive the zombie attack, and that's my zombie plan. So, anyway, um, yeah, don't roast me on comments, um, because I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, oh, zombies are fake. You're never going to have to use this, and I hope I never will. But let me tell you something. When the day comes, and when zombies are eating your brains, you'll thank me for having a plan. And that's the truth.